Warning, you might find the content here disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Rai gan hong rao mi hai lai pasa produ suprememastertv.com tap schedule. Para cambiar al mundo, tenemos que cambiar primero nosotros. Y para cambiar, tenemos que estar dispuestos y tener el coraje de enfrentar lo que tenemos enfrente. Tenemos el poder como individuos y como consumidores. Nosotros mismos podemos hacer un cambio. Continue watching to find out more. RT viewers, Arfia means hello in Ossetian. I am Veronika, the God-loving people of South Ossetia in the country of Georgia, wish you to be showered with divine love and blessings. Today's program, we will introduce Virela Miguera, a Paraguayan model, beauty queen, actress, television presenter, and vegan activist. Firella Orfeo won the 2008 Miss Italy Paraguay and the 2012 Miss World Paraguay. She also appeared in several Paraguayan films and a television series, including, respectively, Napkin Universe and Sata il Cielo di Roma. As an activist and actress, Fia is a friend of Kip Anderson, director of the film Cowspiracy, the sustainability secret which was premiered in late 2014. This documentary uncovers the most destructive industry, animal livestock racing, facing the planet today and investigates why the world's leading environmental organizations are intimidated to talk about it. We're in the middle of the largest mass extinction of species in 65 million years. Let's look at the fundamental problem here. No one wants to talk about it. The same team also produced another documentary called What the Health to Disclose the Secret of Preventing and Even Reversing Chronic Diseases and Why People Don't Know About It. This documentary exposes the collusion and corruption in government and big business that is costing us trillions of healthcare dollars and keeping us sick. Learning about the direct impact of our food choice on the environment and health firsthand, Fia felt obliged to raise awareness about it to her fellow Paraguays. So she partnered with Kip Anderson to produce a documentary from Paraguay with love. I believe we are one world and connection is the most important thing and that, I think that's my purpose, connecting. So I'm bringing the message from South America, from the Latin American or Spanish-speaking community um, to the northern, actually in connecting both worlds because I believe that all the information that is in the, like, in the English-speaking world needs to go to the Spanish-speaking world. Paraguay with Love focuses on the environmental and humanitarian crisis happening in Paraguay due to the Green Revolution, which is the rapid expansion of soy agri-farming in the Gran Chaco forest the second largest forest in South America, next to the Amazon. Fia hopes to educate the public on their food choices, which has caused the deforestation of Paraguay and has forced more than 585,000 people to leave their land in the last 10 years. Also, the health hazards of pesticides have caused many serious diseases and even deaths. Soy Fiorella Migliore, ciudadana y activista en Paraguay. Comparto con ustedes una situación muy urgente que está sucediendo en mi país. Al ritmo actual de la deforestación, 
Paraguay está en riesgo de perder todas sus selvas para el 2030. ¿Cuál es la raíz del problema? El 80% de la soja paraguaya es exportada para alimentar al ganado alrededor del mundo. Y así como es el cuarto exportador mundial de soja, es el octavo exportador de carne más grande del mundo. Aunque los bosques sean principalmente eliminados para ganadería y monocultivos de pasto, la soja se está convirtiendo cada vez más en una amenaza. Gracias a la imparable expansión del agronegocio, Paraguay es uno de los países con mayor índice de deforestación del mundo entero y el número de hectáreas de bosques deforestados va creciendo cada día hacia el Gran Chaco. Además de estar llena de vida exótica, vulnerable y salvaje, el Chaco es también el hogar de varias tribus indígenas que ahora tienen que salir de sus tierras ancestrales y escapar a las ciudades donde viven en condiciones realmente extremas. No es solo un problema ambiental, en los últimos 10 años, más de 900.000 familias rurales fueron desplazadas de sus tierras para hacer lugar al agronegocio, como fue en el caso de Guajorín, campesinos atacados por sus tierras. Y diariamente, cientos de personas son afectadas con los pesticidas, causando muchas enfermedades graves y a veces la muerte. Attentive viewers, we will be right back after this meaningful message Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Warning. You might find the content here and disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. Welcome back, loving viewers. Fuel alerts Paraguayans that meat consumers are ultimately responsible for the deforestation of their own forests, despite not being aware of the consequences. Living in this world, it is easy to forget how our actions impact the world around us. We destroy life and each other without even realizing it. And this is because we've forgotten why we're here and have lost sight of the wisdom and lessons our mother imparts on us every single day. From Paraguay with love. Los consumidores son la fuerza del proceso entero. Pero muchas veces los consumidores no pensamos sobre las consecuencias de nuestras compras. Para cambiar al mundo, tenemos que cambiar primero nosotros. Y para cambiar, tenemos que estar dispuestos y tener el coraje de enfrentar lo que tenemos enfrente. Tenemos el poder como individuos y como consumidores. Nosotros mismos podemos hacer un cambio. It's affecting the whole world. And that's what you guys are showing the world, like the cl climate change and this problem that we're having in the environment, environment is affecting everybody. And, and it's our home. So yeah, it's just that. We have to think as it's our place that is being destroyed. So when we think in that way, we're gonna take care of it and really do something to change that. We asked Fio what we could do to turn this violent world into an Ahimsa world a world of peace for our children and our grandchildren. Let's see what Fiorella suggests. I would, I would say that it's looking in the eyes of the other, like looking into each other's eyes and recognizing the being that is next to me or in front of me. And that is not only for humans, but human beings that are, we are like, we can empathize with humans more than others, but also looking into the eyes of the animals that are going through many things. And it's not only about our, our health, and it's not only about me, it's, all, it's about us. You know, and what touches me very much is, and this is like a specific topic, but it's also seeing in the eyes of the animal, is the, mothers, the mother cows that are being, having the situation every day of raping and taking the child away. And it's like, just, just recognize the being behind your meal. It's not something behind your meal, it's somebody behind your meal. Look into them, their eyes, and if you don't have the opportunity to live close to an animal or close to them, 
go out, go to the countryside or watch videos, watch somewhere you can see their eyes and you're gonna understand what I'm saying. The time to turn the tide of destruction is almost running out. Let's hear from world-renowned spiritual master, Supreme Master Ching Hai, who released four urgent messages. One to the world at large, to people engaging in the business of animal products, to all religious and spiritual leaders, and finally, to all world leaders and governments, respectively. We'll summarize a few of these messages here. Please take the time to watch the full messages at suprememastertv.com forward slash download. In short, we must ask God's mercy and intervention to help us get through this crisis. Be vegan, repent, and pray with heartfelt sincerity for a vegan world to come quickly. No need to wait for any, even climate change. Heaven is angry. Earth is angry. The nature is angry. Waiting. Waiting for us to return to our original loving, kind nature as God intended us to be to have, waiting for us to exercise this power to save others and to save ourselves and our family. Health is inevitable if we do not change our way of life. Help the planet, rescue the animals, save our world, be a hero. We are going to pray together. If you believe in just this, even if you can't be vegan at this point, just pray to be soon. Pray for World Vegan. Join us, please, to meditate every Sunday, 9 o'clock in the evening, until the World Vegan is here, we will not stop, even sincere, for five minutes, 20 minutes. They all help to clean up our world, to save our children, and to live a noble, worthy, decent life, befitting the children of God. Join us to rescue the innocents. Join us to rescue our world. Please. The devastation occurring on our planet directly related to accelerated climate change caused by humans' cruel behaviors and brutal habits, which is not so difficult to change once applying the principle of love. Please tell your believers this truth. Tell them that we must change. Indeed, love can change everything, especially now. We need love from God, which nevertheless depends on if we can give love to our animal co-inhabitants. Fia also shares some of the positive actions taking place in Chaco, Paraguay. That's one thing that we are seeing, you know, that people are raising awareness on protecting the animals. And that's happening also in Paraguay. Like, like what's happening in the Chaco is, is raising awareness on the birds, for example. Like there is a big mu movement in Paraguay on the bird watching and they really protect, they love them. So there is an organization that help the birds or protect the environment. They're buying land to stop the deforestation, to keep the birds there, you know, and, and many other movements. And yeah, the animals are needing us and they're happening, yeah.
we thank the beautiful and compassionate Fiorella for her inspirational work. We are hopeful that Fio's message will be heard and that it'll create a ripple effect on farming. As more farmers are switching from livestock raising to organic vegetable farming, not only in Paraguay, but all around the world. It is wonderful to see that more and more people are adopting a vegan lifestyle for a better future. We salute your efforts and wish for everyone to understand that veganism is the easiest and surest solution to heal our world in crisis right now. Supreme Master Chihai gratefully present the Shiny World Compassion Award to Fiorella Migliore. With all love, respect and best wishes for your continued success. May heavens forever bless and safeguard you and your loved ones. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for His compassion and love toward His precious children. To learn more about Fio, please visit instagram.com forward slash fiomigliore, facebook.com forward slash fiorella.migliore, twitter.com forward slash fiomigliore. Compassionate viewers, thank you for your company today. Coming up next is the re-air of Whoever Repents Will Go to Heaven, part 1 of 2, right after Noteworthiness. May your hearts be filled with the joy and peace of God's love. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash ve. Mm -hmm.